Assalamualaikum and good morning students. For your offline class today, we will continue our activity book. Our activity book, page 68. Page 68. Natural water cycle. Sketch the arrows to show the correct sequence of natural water cycle. Okay, we are going to draw the arrow, but which way is the arrow will be? So first, water will evaporate into water vapor and rise up. Water vapor is cooled and become water droplets to form the clouds. Clouds become heavy and then fall as rain. So this is the arrows will be anti-clockwise. So you take your pencil and draw the arrow. Next, we are going to complete the sentence below. Natural water cycles occurs when water from rivers and seas become water vapor. I repeat, natural water cycle occurs when water from rivers and seas become water vapor. Water vapor is cooled and become water droplets and form clouds. The clouds become too heavy and will fall as rain. Okay, let's read this one more time. Natural water cycle occurs when water from rivers and seas become water vapor. Water vapor is cooled and become water droplets and form clouds. The clouds become too heavy and will fall as rain. Now let's look at next page, page 69. Sequence of natural water cycle. Same like the previous exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers and sketches. There's water, clouds, water vapor and rain. And it's given here clouds. So after clouds, clouds become heavy and fall as rain. So write here rain and then sketch. Rainwater will flow back into rivers and seas. So this is water. Next, the water will evaporate into water vapor and rise up. So here is water vapor. Okay, so that will be the cycle. Clouds. Become heavy and fall as rain. Rain water flows back into rivers and sea. Becomes water. And then the water will evaporate and rise up to water vapor. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.